opportunity today of hearing evaluations from members who are lovers. And so this will be a great modeling for our younger members. Younger members. <laughs> Jerry Hardesty, <laughs> I know, I'm still not, I, uh, I may never get out. <laughs> Jerry Hardesty is evaluating Michael Lindstrom. Toastmasters, honored guests, new members, welcome, and especially you, Michael. First of all, I have to chastise you. It is unnecessary for you to give us excuses as to why you're late. Remember the adage, an excuse is a bad excuse. So, don't, please don't apologize again in that matter. Secondly, you also told us what you didn't need to share with us, that you dreaded the speech. So I'll slap your, help, your hand for that as well. But he kept your window covered. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have the floor. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Given all that, the purpose of the speech was to use the actual, uh, to use gestures and, and body language. You used them very, very effectively. You only had one negative uh, gesture that I picked up on, and that was that you clasped your hand in this manner a couple of times. Otherwise, your gestures were very natural as you, as you used gestures to speak, but you also had some exaggerated gestures to make certain points. For instance, the hill, little hills, the going around the willow head, is that what you said? Willow head? Mm -hmm. I can't do my writing. <laughs> the, the nostrils going from smaller to large, and the head, the large head, and I forget the gesture to the rear, uh, taking the gun off the left shoulder. Anyway, you get the point that those gestures were very, very good and very effective. And I think that that's the purpose of the speech. And you really meant that purpose to use exaggerated gestures. One thing that I didn't see you do, and perhaps I shouldn't even mention it, but you didn't have double elbows in doing gestures like this. If, when you do a gesture, do a broad gesture so that it's well seen and, and the meaning is clear. So very, very good. Apparently, you mollified that moose. That was good. <laughs> very good. You do have a habit of making a statement and laughing at yourself, especially when there's nothing to laugh at. I would like you to work on that and don't laugh at yourself. And finally, you really need to develop that closing. I've heard you in previous speeches where you haven't developed the closing. And that's very important. It's as important as the introduction. So develop that closing so it's not so abrupt as it was today. And ineffective. Anytime we say that, oh, that's all I've got, or I'm done, then it's very ineffective. But overall, I enjoyed it very much. Thank you, Mike.